Hi there, this is Sylvia Dana with eXp Realty and I am just wanna show you something super simple right now. I'm gonna show you how to create a call capture code using your smart number with your KV Core website. So what I wanna do, first of all, is I wanna create um, a text code to capture leads on Craigslist. Now, what I wanna tell you is that with Craigslist, when you post to Craigslist, you're not allowed to actually put links in Craigslist. So I can't put a link to my website in, in Craigslist. But what I can do is I can advertise the property and I can do text, a code, text this code to this number and then they're gonna receive a copy of that link and I'm going to be able to generate a lead from that if they use it on Craigslist. Okay, so it's worth a try, right? Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my listing that I'm working with. And I'm going to choose it. So this is what it's going to look like, a listing that you're looking at, a listing profile that you're looking at. Now this is my listing. You can, in depending on your own association board rules and your own state rules, you may or may not be able to promote other people's listings or whether they're an EXP or not. That is for you to find out from your board, okay? I'm not gonna talk about that. But what I'm gonna talk about is creating a text code to promote one of my own listings. The first thing I'm gonna do is copy the MLS ID here, okay? So that's what that looks like. Now I'm gonna to go to Lead Engine, and I am gonna select Call Capture. This is using your smart number for smart advertising. Now, what I wanna tell you about the smart number that you get with KV Core and EXP is you get, it's really a group smart number. It's for, it could be for up to every single EXP agent, for example, um, in your MLS or your region or your board. I don't know exactly how it works, but I share this number. The only way that I can differentiate is with text codes. So for me personally, I do not use the smart number to advertise for people to call me, and I don't actually call from it either. Um, I could pay an extra fee each month to get my own smart number. I don't feel I need to do that, so I don't do it. What I use the smart number for is for text codes because you see these custom codes that I've created here? Um, only I am using those text codes for this smart number. No one else does. So if somebody else comes into their KB Core dashboard and they try to add a new code and they want to name it home or one, two, three, or sell or land, they can't. It's already been taken. So they'll have to come up with something else. So um, in this case, um, I am going to create a text code for this particular listing. Now these are some older ones that I have um, and I'm gonna kind of use them up so I don't have to keep creating new codes necessarily unless I'm using them for something. This one here, one, two, three, I'm not using for anything right now. So I'm gonna edit this custom code. And what you can do here is you can either put in an MLS ID um, and that's what I'm going to do in this case. That way, when someone texts my smart number and they text 123 to my smart number, what's going to come back to them is the my link in my website for that listing. And that's what they're going to get in their phone. And then I am in turn and going to capture their cell number and see that they requested it. Okay, so that's how that works. Now, you can use this code. You could create a sign writer that said, for details and photos, text 123 to this number. And then I can use that sign writer for future listings, for example. So that's one thing you could do with it. You could put it on flyers. Um, 
In my case, I'm going to put it in a Craigslist posting because, again, as I said, you cannot use a link in a Craigslist post, so it's ideal for it. Now, I want to tell you that this part, reply um, with a message or link, um, I did that previously on another one because I wanted to share a video. So I had created a video tour of some land on YouTube. And so what I did is I wrote watch video and then I put the link to the YouTube video. So instead of an MLS ID, they're going to get that link to the video tour of the land. So you can choose, but it's going to be one or the other, either the MLS ID or with a link to go to anything that you want. Okay. Okay. So now I'm saving this. And there it is, custom code 123. When they text that my smart number, they're going to get the link to the listing. Easy enough. So now what I'm going to do is I already have, I'm, I'm working on this. I've got this um, ad ready to go. And I'm just going to change there. And um, I'm going to say, please text one, two, three to my smart number. Okay. So um, let's see what it looks like. Continue. Now we'll be able to see what it looks like. It's an unpublished draft. Four beds, two baths, open house Sunday, February 10th, 12 to 2 in Macosta. And then I can um, see where it's located. I might have to edit that. I'm going to go over that in a second. It's kind of good that I'm doing that. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. So info and pics, please text 123. I don't really love the layout here. So I'm going to edit this post. Um, and here's how you do this. Um, let's see. I'm going to do this. Now, this is HTML stuff. You do an, an arrow, like a greater than sign, BR, and another one. And I'm type for info and pics, colon. I'm going to put two BR. So what a BR mean? It's, it's a break. You do have to know a little code once in a while. But BR is a break. It's a it's a space. All right. So let's we'll see what it looks like. I'm gonna also I'll do a little I'll do a little video on Craigslist again later. But this is gonna get us started here. So now let's see what it looks like. And lovely. Look, that looks a lot better, doesn't it? <laughs> For info and pics, text 123 to my smart number. I love it. Hmm. Do I want to have this plus there? I think I don't. I'm going to edit that too. That might confuse people. So I am just going to do it like that. Make it look like a normal phone number. Look at that. Would you look at that? Okay. 187, four bedrooms, da da da, blah blah blah. All right. There. Now I'm happy with that. That looks good to me. And I can publish it. Now, right now I've got an open house, so I'm going to leave this here. But you know what? After the open house, I'm going to publish a new ad again. Um, and I'll take the open house out and maybe come up with a different headline here. And that's one thing about Craigslist is you want to post fairly often because it gets lost in the shuffle. Um, but for now, that's how you post one time. Now, I've, uh, what you usually do, when you post to Craigslist the first time, uh, it's going to send to your email to verify. So you'll need to verify it by clicking it. But I've already verified it. I was just editing. So now I can view my post and see how it looks. And ta-da. Thanks for watching.